Hey everyone, this is Scott White and Kibowitz. I want to show you today a an RSS dashboard that I'm building in Google Analytics that I can share with you. So check this out. I'm showing basically uh, the entire month of March up until today's date. So um, basically 29 days of March, um, not showing the entire month because we haven't reached the 30th or 31st yet. Um, so what I did here is I have three columns, okay? The first column has RSS subscribers. Now what this is doing is it's actually looking at unique visitors, okay, that are coming from a source or medium with RSS feed or email because email is typically going to have your RSS feed. Not always, so this is not going to be 100% precise because there's also there could also be some readers that um, that your uh, that Google Analytics cannot see, does not interact well with. So this is not 100% perfect, but this will give you a good idea of what kind of traffic you're getting from RSS. And what I'm, I'm actually hiding uh, two sources, referral and Twitter. So Twitter, because a lot of applications, a lot of Twitter apps will actually utilize, and WordPress plugins will utilize a similar RSS tagging system um, or actually use your RSS in order to get your content onto Twitter. So I'm hiding any tweets because that's more of a Twitter thing than an RSS thing. And referral because you could have some um, websites that just aggregate RSS feeds like maybe all top. So it's using your RSS feed, but again, like Twitter, it's not necessarily RSS. So I'm hiding those. And each of these is basically has only show these and don't show these. Now, I'm going to keep digging into my analytics to find out other RSS things, uh, sources that might, might come in, like possibly Feedly or uh, maybe Flipboard because that's really RSS as well. So different things like that. So the first one, as I mentioned, is unique visitors. Now, the thing to keep in mind is always look by the month in this dashboard because month to month, it'll give you a good idea of what kind of subscribers you have. If you do in a year, you're going to see the accumulative year of unique RSS visits. So that's going to be a little skewed. Um, it'll give you a great idea of how much traffic you've gotten from RSS over the year, but it'll be skewed of how much month to month you're getting. And I'll show you how you can compare, um, but let's keep going. So this is unique RSS subscribers. So in, theoretically this month I had 230 RSS subscribers. Now visits from RSS, 356 and this is doing the same thing as the one before except it's showing all visits not just unique visitors so I'm actually seeing let's say one visitor came from um, you know Google Reader but then it came back through maybe um, uh, Feedly so two different RSS readers they came into the same thing or maybe Flipboard they came in multiple times or they got an email from my RSS uh, announcement and they uh, you know came in through there the second time Below that, I have RSS subscriber timeline. Now, this is going to show over the month um, unique visitors and visits over the month of each day, basically, of what kind of traffic I got. Next is RSS subscriber by location. So I can actually hover over and see, you know, how many visitors, unique visitors, I got from, um, from RSS. Now, this is actually not correct. So I do have to do a little fine tuning before this goes out. Um, so don't worry about that. Let's actually, I'll actually show you what I'm, what, what it's showing right here. So I'm showing country, territory, unique visitors, only showing. So it's all the same. I, so I just have to figure out why it's not um, being exact. Cause really this should not show 3,160 when I only have 230 unique total. So I got to take a look at that. Not a big deal. I'll figure it out. And then next I have popular articles by, by RSS. So you can actually see the post titles of uh, the most popular articles, how many visits I got, unique and non-unique, um, based on RSS. And what I also did is, I went in here and I said, don't show the page title containing login, because for some reason I had my login was showing up in here. So you can always customize these if you're seeing something that shouldn't show up that shouldn't really be indexed. Um, so I gotta figure out why that's, why that's showing up in there as well. Then I have RSS medium. So you can actually see what mediums are they coming through. So 54.97% are coming from my slash feed. So scottwine.com slash feed um, or photocratic.com slash feed. Think something like that. Or RSS would be more like Feedburner or Feedly or Google Reader maybe. So something that is 
um, not using the default RSS link, actually using maybe the feed burner link or another generated link. Um, so, you know, really between the two, uh, really this, this is the big total. This is the variant right here, the email, 16.45% of my, um, you know, of, of this traffic is coming from email through RSS. So it gives me a good idea of how well that's doing. And then I have overall sources. You can see here, 54.97. Oh, so see, you see, you can see here, feed is actually feed burner. See how the numbers match up perfectly? And then RSS would be my default. So really this is feed burner and this is, you know, yourdomain.com slash feed. So again, you can see that here, um, Scott Wine Imagery, this is actually my email. So uh, this is an email, then this is actually a photocrotting email that um, linked through to my RSS at one point. And then a webinar, I'm not sure how that came into here. I'm not sure what's going on here, but um, that's shown up as well. So this gives you a good idea of how well your RSS feed is doing without having feed burner statistics because Google is actually, they already dropped support for feed burner. Um, as they have with many other things. So it's only a matter of time before they completely wipe out FeedBurner. They've already announced that they're removing Google Reader. So RSS is changing. So whatever you can do to figure out how your RSS is doing after all these changes go into effect, um, you know, you're, you're, you're ready ahead. So that's why this dashboard is going to be handy. So I mentioned before, how are you going to compare, you know, one month to the, to the, to the next? So if you click on your date, so let's say you're looking at March 2013, like I am right now, and you want to compare to previous periods. So you can actually compare to the exact month before or previous year. So you can actually see how you're doing from the previous year. Now I'm going to go previous month and, um, and uh, actually I just clicked on previous year. Let me switch that to previous period. So right now I'm doing basically this month compared to last month. Um, the date ranges. So once this loads, you actually see a nice comparison. So this is actually, it's, somehow it's still stuck on, let me just do a refresh. Looks like Google Reader is uh, acting up a little bit. Okay, so here we go. So this month, I actually went down on RSS. Now, this could be because of Google Reader. This could be because of anything, um, but not a big deal. So uh, I'm not too concerned because that's still a good number uh, for a regular photography blog. Um, so you can see I went down from 304 down to 230. Um, visits from RSS is down from 433 to 356. And you can actually see that I actually had one article. Um, I had one article last month that brought in a lot of traffic. So I could dig in here and see what did I send out or publish on Sunday, February 10th, 2013. What went out that, you know, was so attractive to people? Because that's actually unique visitors, which is crazy. So... 63 unique unique RSS subscribers came in to something on my site. So if you can go to the, your traffic that day, look at what people were looking at, and then you know, hey, this was attractive to my RSS readers. Let's try doing something similar to be more attractive. Now, you can see here that in the popular articles, some are zero compared. And that's because some of the articles were not available, um, you know, the previous month. So this one is a is a newer article that came out in March, so it's not going to show up in the previous month. Um, so that's really you know how useful this can be. I'm going to do some final tweaking to this dashboard, and then use the lovely little share button. I can share it with everybody with a simple link, which you'll see in a second. And here's the link, so I'll be able to link to this in the article and YouTube video, and uh, you'll be able to use this in your Google Anal your Google Analytics dashboard. So thank you for watching, and see you soon.